I'm Landon here at John 316 Ministries, and today we have John and Donna Steer. Right. And, um, you know, John came today for the veteran service, and he told us all about, you know, Fort Steer was here before John 316 was, which is great because it, you know, are the reason that that us guys get to be here. You know, we would for y'all starting this place originally, John 316 wouldn't be here. So you know, initially, after we'd run for 11 years, we turned it over to another ministry, and unfortunately, they just robbed it, took the buildings, the toilets, and everything. But Brian came out here, and, and God spoke through his heart, and he picked it up after the other ministry left. And praise God, I mean, God has just anointed this place and brought hundreds and even thousands of people through here. Yeah. Well, can you tell me when y'all two got married, how y'all met? <laughs> we got married in uh, 1968. He was still in the uh, Fitzsimmons Army Hospital, recovering with all of his wounds in his arm. And Sneaking out at night, working in a bar. Yeah, and uh, I had gone with my girlfriend. I worked there as a secretary, and I had gone to a nightclub called The Store. So whenever somebody says, where did you meet your husband, I say at The Store, <laughs> which was really the nightclub. But, um, we got married in 68, and uh, in 1973, we both came to the Lord, and we've been serving the Lord ever since. Uh, like John said in the service earlier, he's been in 34 other countries, and me and the children, we have four children, and the two older ones traveled with us when we went to Old Mexico and Haiti. They all four have been in Haiti. We've done missionary work over there, and uh, it's just been an awesome life. And we are so proud and so thankful of what the Lord has done Amen. with the old Fort Steer, which is now John 316, and all the young men that their lives are being touched for the Lord. I mean, it's, it's just amazing. Amen. We serve an amazing God. Amen. Now, you gave us your testimony today, but what, what year did you actually join the service, Mr. Steer? 66. 66. 66 and went through, oh, I don't know, pretty much a, a hard year of training. Uh, you know, basic and then advanced airborne infantry and then jump school and then right over to Vietnam. Now, when did Fort Steer start? 85? In 1985, we moved here. He was pastoring a church in Marbury, Missouri, and we moved here and bought this property. It was 40 acres in the house. And in 1985, we started taking veterans into our house, which, uh, you know, we can only house two or three. And then from then, we started building Fort Steer. There was nothing here but woods. And with the help of um, our oldest boy and John and veterans groups that came down from northern states, helped us build what we considered Fort Steer, and we took in over 700 veterans during our time here, and or their families. If, if their families come with them, then we, we took them in and housed them sometimes up to a year and a half, two years. But, um, sometimes they'd call me from the hospital, one of the hospitals, and I'd go in there and they'd be pumping pills out of the veteran's stomach because they attempted suicide right. and some poor little old gal there the wife with big dark circles under her eyes and living in a real hell hole uh, and i'd take the wife and the kids back here right. and then once the guy got out of the hospital get him back here and you know that's that's what we did we, a lot of people's lives were changed and some weren't there was one guy that that i mentioned where we took the firearm away from him i, I won't mention his name but anyway he found me in Chicago last year at an event I was doing there on, on uh, Pier 94, no, Pier, uh, Navy, Pier, Navy, Pier Navy, Navy Pier in, Pier Chicago. in Chicago. And he come up to me with a hat and big black glasses and a big full beard. And I mean, I had had some serious trouble with him. And he come up to me and he started talking to me and said, you know who I am? I said, I think so, I'm not sure. And, uh, and I figured out who it was. And he said, I want to tell you all something. I know I, I was hard on you guys and I didn't do right, but he said, y'all really helped me a lot. So that was, you know, and, and I get that every once in a while. We, yeah. we travel and, and speak and a lot of times somebody will come up to me and say, well, I was there in, you know, 1990 or Thank whatever. You. Yeah. So I started in, in 85, 85. And, I, and when did it, it kind of 
go go out after that? Eleven uh, years in, later. Uh, in 1996. 96. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we were just broken. We, just we didn't have any staff to right. speak of, uh -huh. and we had some good volunteer staff, but they they volunteers don't show up except when they want to. Correct. And that's what we had. And so I was trying to work here. They called her the general around here because she was the one here all the time. I was always on the road speaking and, and raising money. Yeah. Well, 700 lives you touched being here. What an amazing, I mean, that's got to touch you, you know, it take care of day. It does. Um, I don't think people realize that in Vietnam, 58,022 lost their lives. But after Vietnam, the suicide rate was over 100,000. Uh, over a hundred thousand and so that's why we had a burden to start Fort Steele because there was we really wanted, no place like this where they could go at that time now that there's a lot of VA hospitals they've got programs and stuff but when we started this there was there was not and we wanted to give them an opportunity to turn their life around and the, the main thing that we had here at the answer is Jesus Christ that was that was what we had to offer them was Jesus Christ so how are y'all involved with John 3.16 now? We support them financially. They're, we support, On a monthly basis. We support three ministries, mm -hmm. and uh, this is one of them that we try and help with every month. And uh, and Brian has me come in every Veterans Day. Every, every Veterans and Day. And they put Brian my name is. on a plaque out there, bronze plaque. Right. But, you know, in the real world, a lot of pastors, because I've pastored a little bit, when they leave a, a church and a new pastor comes in, the new pastor doesn't really want them around. They feel a little un uncomfortable. Like, right. Man, Brian has treated me like a million bucks from the time we first met. And uh, I, I just love him and, and his lovely wife, Beverly, and uh, pray God's blessings on him. Amen. And just, I mean, it's just every time I come here, my mind gets blown because yeah. there's more buildings, there's more people, Amen. and there's more God. Right. Yeah, I know what I got here. I got here in October of 2010, so there shortly after was the first time I got to see y'all. And you sang and, and everything, and then I know I look forward to you coming every year. Well, oh, thank then. you. And, uh, I didn't sing today. I got, uh, I've been in the hospital three times in the last few months. Right. And uh, got an enlarged heart, about twice what it should be. It's pushing on my left lung. Uh -huh. So I can't really bail her out like I used to. Yes, sir. I believe it's going to get better. Amen. Well, John and Donna, I appreciate your time. You well, know, and I thank, thank you, you for coming and, and sharing your story with us. I know it, you know it helps a lot of guys here. And, and just thank you for your dedication to the Lord and to helping other people because that's what this world needs is this people helping people. That's what we're all sitting here to do is serve others. And you surely yeah. set the way for that. So we thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you all for what you're doing here. Thank so are you on staff now? Or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been on staff since 2012. Good. Good to do it. Thank you. Are you married? Or? Yep, I got married three months ago today. So you right here, lives here too? Yep, or? yep we live both live here. Praise so, God. Yes, sir. Yep. Me and my stepson and, and her, and it's all good. So, well, my yeah. son. That's exciting. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Lord, that's great. Now, I got a stepson here, and boy, he just calls me dad. So I start calling him son, and that's what he wants to hear. Right. Son-in-law. Yeah. Right. Huh? Son-in-law. I call you dad. Casey? Yeah, but yeah. he wants to be called oh, son. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I call him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. Yeah. Okay. By John and Donna Steer and uh, John 316. Amen. Amen.